Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to review the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation as well as the Tarte Bamboo Buffer Brush. So these are two items I recently purchased at Sephora and I posted a picture on my Instagram and asked you guys if you were interested in a review and many of you said yes. So yay! This foundation retails for $38 and the brush retails for $32. Now, a few great things about this foundation. It's in a squeezy tube, which is awesome because you're really getting your money's worth and you're getting the whole entire product out because this item is not cheap. Another great thing about this is that it comes in a range of colors. I think about 16 different shades. So no matter what skin tone you are, you most likely will find the right shade for you. And this is something that I specifically picked up for the summertime because I wanted something that was a little bit darker since I am getting tan and that would just fit for the summertime and that wasn't too heavy. Which brings me to my next point, that this foundation is really lightweight. It almost feels like you have nothing on your face, which is awesome for summertime because I don't wanna feel like I have, you know, like cake face and walking out with, it's too much product. In the summertime, you really want a light, airy face. It has SPF 15 in it, which is great because it protects you from the sun. It says that it's great for all skin types, which is unbelievable because really, no matter whether you have oily skin or you know dry skin, this should be able to work for you. I have oily combination, so I do like get dry patches around here, and I can I tend to get oily, not too oily though. So I wanted to speak briefly about the Tarte Bamboo Buffer Brush. It comes in a little box like this and it says the Buffer Airbrush Finish Bamboo Foundation Brush. And yeah, so this one retails for $32 and they recommend it just to give you like that airbrushed look to your face. But, you know, this is pretty pricey. So for those of you who, you know, are spending already $38 on the foundation and don't want to spend the money on the brush, I want to give you a few other suggestions on brushes that do a similar job to this one. So I'm going to give you a more higher end version and something a little more affordable. So two other brushes that do the same job as this are the Sigma Flakabuki F80 brush, which I use all the time for my foundation, and also the e.l.f. powder brush. So I forget how much this is, but it's also a little bit pricey, but this one is only $3 and it does wonders. So in the demo that I'm going to be doing, you're going to be seeing me use the Tarte brush on this side of my face and a $3 brush by e.l.f. on this side of my face. So you guys can see that it really does the same thing. So overall, I would give this foundation about an 8 out of 10 only because it claims that it's full coverage, which I really don't believe it's full coverage, although I still love it and because of the price but like i said earlier in the video you're paying for quality because this is cruelty free and they also don't include so many of the chemicals that all the other foundations do so yeah hopefully this was helpful for you guys i know that this was a little bit late but i still wanted to review it and get my own personal opinion and share it with you guys so if you guys want to see any other product reviews please let me know in the comments below if it's something that's really highly requested i probably will do it and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! So since this claims that it lasts for about 12 hours, I will be checking back in with you guys ever every couple of hours to let you guys know, you know, what I think and whether or not, you know, this actually lasts for 12 hours. Even though I do believe that if a foundation lasts from like 6 to 7 hours, I'm pretty much okay with that, but it does claim 12 hours, so let's just test it out and I'll be checking back in with you guys. Right now it is about 12:38 on Friday, June 27th, so I don't know if you can see that, but I will be checking in in a few hours and then following that and then later and then we'll see whether this stays on or not. Hey guys, so it's about 3.03 .03 right now and I believe the last time I did my makeup it was around like 12.30, so 
it's a few hours and basically I was out in the heat a little bit. If it looks really shiny up here, it might be because of this highlighter that I used. But overall, I'm looking at my face now and it looks pretty good. I think that the areas where I put that highlight, I might have put a little bit too much. So those areas look shiny, but everything else, if you look around here, looks looks fine. Like I look a little shiny. I could probably use a little bit of blotting, but it's nothing too bad. I mean, this would probably happen to me with any foundation I've used. So I think that's so far so good. I don't think I have any complaints, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, you guys might have a different opinion. So definitely let me know and I'll check in a little bit later and let you guys know what I think. But overall, everything is still covered. I don't see like the foundation rubbing off and I been I have been trying like not to touch my face. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys again. Bye. Hey guys, it's 7.18 now and I'm just leaving the house. I haven't touched anything on my face. So it looks like it's about the same from around 3 o'clock when we checked. And it's still a little bit shiny here, but that's just because of my highlighter but everywhere else looks pretty much good. So I don't think that I need to touch up or anything and it doesn't look like any of the makeup came off. So everything looks like it's pretty much the same. And I've been out in the heat, so yeah. And that's my sister. Say hi. <laughs> we're going to my cousin's birthday party right now, so we're in the car together. Hi. Hi. She's shy. No, okay. I'm not. Alright, guys, I'll check back one last time <laughs> later on tonight and I'll see you then. Bye. Hey, guys, so I am at my cousin's house right now. So I kind of like ran upstairs to the bathroom to give you guys a last update. And overall, I'm looking in the mirror right now and I'm really impressed with this foundation. It doesn't seem like I got oily, and like I said, I do have a little bit of shimmery here, but that's from the highlighter, and it looks really good. So I don't know if you guys can tell in this lighting, but I also ripped off my fake eyelashes because they were getting pretty annoying. It's already like, I think, 9 o'clock right now, so yeah, I'm really impressed with this. I didn't even have to blot my face. Foundation is overall great. But yeah, it doesn't look oily, and I don't know, it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. And if you guys, you know, see something that I don't see, you know, obviously let me know in the comments below. And yeah, so I'm exhausted. I'm going to sleep. And I hope you guys have a great day or night, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!